Task Force Director Charles Rinkovich met briefly with Mayor Jackson this afternoon, then accompanied by the mayor, joined the cabinet meeting to explain the on-site task force role. Rinkovich, a Justice Department official who lives in Marietta, said the task force would not become directly involved with the police investigation. The FBI is already doing that. Rather, his job will be to cut through federal red tape to secure federal resources available to help the city cope with other aspects of the tragedy. The extent to which there is mental anguish um, on the part of uh, uh, residents of the community, uh, whether they're families of the, the victims or whether they're uh, other residents of the community, uh, perhaps can be addressed uh, through the strengthening of uh, resources uh, in the area of mental health from the federal government. That's the kind of an example. An educational program, which I think the commissioner has already underway in a, uh, to, to alert the community of the dangers that, um, that uh, we're dealing with here is, and perhaps the strengthening of that may be uh, possible. Mayor Jackson said the city cannot let up on the campaign to educate children and parents of the dangers associated with the child killings, but that effort may create some of its own problems. At the same time, we have to understand there is a fallout, and that is the, the inundation through radio and TV and newspapers of the awareness of the problem is going to have its impact on the minds of children and adults alike. Uh, we want to do all we can to minimize that. And the on-site task force will be small. Brinkovich has only one assistant right now. He said the idea is not to muddy up what's already being done, but to help the city deal with the federal bureaucracy to get the help that's needed and is available. Mayor Jackson said he's grateful to the president for this help, but made it quite clear that the city still hopes to get $1.5 million in direct federal aid for the investigation. The mayor said that request remains under consideration, but at this point his optimism is dwindling. John McKnight, Action News.